everybody welcome back well I am out running errands today and just wanted to get out of the house thought I would talk to you about a few things I want to share a few things with you because I think there are items that you are really going to enjoy and I have a couple of them here one is a pair of sunglasses that I ordered now I saw these on Instagram a girl I follow who lives in Istanbul I believe it's Istanbul her name is Rose Segley I believe is how you pronounce it and uh, now maybe Sadagley S-A-D Sadagley anyway she was she had posted a picture on Instagram and she looked absolutely stunning in it she has very sleek hair pulled back away from her face and had a bold lip and she was wearing these sunglasses and so she and I were messaging back and forth about the look and what she's wearing is the Ray-Ban sunglasses these are the uh, Square 1971 classics and they are so pretty there these are a gold frame and they have the brown gradient lens a 54 millimeter lens and look at this aren't they gorgeous i just have fallen in love with these and like i said she had her hair very pulled back very severe with a bold lip but I don't but I may do it I may give it a try if I do I'll put a picture in and and show you what it looks like but uh, I ordered them and I just love 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 them they come in this case it reads uh, 1971 square how about that and that is something I think you might enjoy I have also ordered a few things from lululemon and I love Lululemon clothes. They're, they're so easy to wear to run errands or, or just be around the house. And I wear them quite often, especially since we're not getting out quite as much as we were. And I have ordered this is the, the Power Y Tank Everlux. And the color, let's see if it says on the tag here. It's supposed to be incognito camo. I was told it was a gray camo, and to me, it is gray, mind you that, but it has the teensiest hint of lavender in it. I don't know if you can see that, but this is the Power Y tank, and I love the Power Y because you don't have to worry about the straps falling, and I liked it so much that I also ordered the the uh, the fine jacket in the same color and I don't know if you are familiar with the, the divine define jacket by lululemon but it's very body conscious and very flattering so if you haven't tried it on and you have a little lemon close by go in and try it on or order it and see if you like it I have several of the define jackets because I think they look so great with I wear a lot of yoga pants because I practiced yoga for 14 years and have a lot of yoga wear and so I just mix and match with this but I am so in love with this camo I'm not I never thought I was a camo person but there have been so many unique color combinations coming across that I am beginning to be a convert, convert to camera. Sorry about that. My phone dropped off of the rack and I have a mount that goes on the phone and it fell. But anyway, so now I think I might be a camo convert, especially with these new color combinations. And let's see, anything else? Uh, I hope you enjoyed our mountain trip. I loved being in the mountains because I don't see them very often. That's not something we usually do. And I enjoyed it so much. We've decided to go back soon and visit again. I have in-laws who live actually have a mountain home in that area. And we did not go to visit them the last time we were out. 
and about in the mountains, but we um, we may soon. And um, I'll share a little bit of that with you too. I don't know how many of you like the mountains and how many of you travel right now during everything that's going on, but we just decided that we needed to um, get out and do something new. And that's what we chose to do because we could be in the car. So you're, you're fairly isolated. Of course, you, when you go to a restaurant, we always try to sit outside, you know, you do all the safety things. So we did that and enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed the little video I put together of that because I know a lot of us can't get out. We like to think of places we'd like to go to whenever we start traveling again. So uh, we just took the chance and went on. And it's so beautiful and it's autumn weather now. And so we are planning to go back because the leaves had not changed when we had gone. So we thought, well, we'll try. We've tried, been trying to find reservations because this is the time of year when everybody wants to see those beautiful leaf changing colors the oranges and the yellows and the golds and so we are going to try it again and you know what the heck we'll see what happens and then also i want to tell you about a book that i read um you might enjoy it if you like american history or you like keeping up with first ladies and fashion of course and because this is one of our most fashionable first ladies and that was Jackie Kennedy but it is about Jackie Kennedy and her sister Lee Ratzewell this is the fabulous Bouvier sisters and it is fabulous I really enjoyed this book it was written by Sam Kashner and Nancy Sl Schoenberger, S-C-H-O-E-N-B-E-R-G-E-R, -E -E and um, they did an excellent job as authors of this book, and there were so many details about Jackie Kennedy and Lee Ratzewell that I, did, I wasn't aware of. Uh, they both lived very glamorous lives, so if you like reading about glamour and fashion and all those wonderful things that I do then this is the book oh my hand was covering the title there we go the fabulous Bouvier sisters and it is a really a good read you will enjoy that and what else I watched oh my gosh I watched um HBO series and I started to not watch it, because, but I just, one day, I was trying to come up with another something that I could kind of binge watch, and I'd seen it advertised, and it is the, it's, it's not the love fraud, it's a love fraud, and as soon as I started watching it, I automatically did not like the main character. It's a true story, it is a documentary, it, um it'll blow you away because this is about a man who woos these women usually they're middle-aged women who are, they're kind of down in the dumps or you know they're going through some kind of crisis and he targets them and then marries them the problem is he marries a lot of them and this is a true story it's kind of a de somewhat detective story because they start tracking him down. And so the whole time I was watching this series, I did not like him in the least. And every time I'd watch a new segment of it, I liked him even less. But in the end, I really liked the story in general and the fact that it was a true story and could not believe that someone got away with this for so long and so if you like a mystery and you like um documentaries and you like something that you could just watch for i think it was six episodes it wasn't really long series i think it was six episodes it's worth watching i mean you know if you're like me you like something that you're interested in on television so that you know, you can kind of 
keep up with their story. And that was a story that I really enjoyed because, you know, I've told you before, I love like Dateline and shows like that. Well, this is not a murder mystery. This is just a mystery about this person. Like, how can someone do this? And how can someone get away with this? And, you know, most of us probably at some point in our adult lives dated somebody who was just really good at BS. Well, my BS radar is pretty accurate. And I can pretty much spot someone like that, but these ladies were not able to, and they didn't ask a lot of questions. And so you can, if you watch it, you'll say, oh, why in the heck didn't they ask this question or that question or just generally Google the person, you know, stuff like that. I just could not believe what I was watching at some points in this show, but it's all true, and it took a while for them to put this together because this story went on for years. And so I suggest that. It's Love Fraud, and I think I'm positive it was on HBO. It's an HBO Love Fraud. I think you will like that. Oh, my gosh, that reminds me. Years ago, there was a dating website called DontDateHimGirl.com. I think they were on Facebook as well, and they may still be out there. Um, I know at one point you had to go in and um, set up an account and pay a fee. But when I looked at it years ago, it was just an open forum. And it was a set up so that you could search your town, city, or region and be informed about undateable people and the people who dated him who had bad experiences would actually write their story about the person and you would be surprised at what people will put on the internet about another person because they want people they want some the next person to know what to expect and I was surprised because I actually recognized a couple names on the list and read some stories about them and sure enough, one person got in some serious trouble. So if that website's still out there or if they're on Facebook or something and you're in the dating world, you might want to check that out. And I think that now I am going to go, what do I want to do first? I think I'm going to Sephora. That might be my best shot today because it's not super crowded today. And I think I'll go there and I've got to run to buy the grocery and pick up a few things. And then I am going to this evening try to see if I can get reservations for us to go out of town at some point. Don't know what days, what month, but if we don't go soon, the season for all the beautiful leaves will be over. But we may have waited too late. We may have made a decision too late in the year to do this because everyone wants to go at the same time and I think all the hotels are booked. But I'm going to see what I can do. And if I do wind up going back, I will post a, lots of, a lot of pictures maybe on Instagram and I might put together another video if something different happens because a lot of the times when you're driving through the mountains, it's just so fabulous and beautiful but when you video it 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 loses something in the filming of it you can't you can't see the depth of the um the mountain ranges you can't see the bold colors at a distance so it's a little difficult to film and translate that to you I hope I had did that somewhat, but um, maybe this time there'll be some prettier colors and I'll put some pictures up on Instagram. Okay, so I'm going to go run my errands and thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I cannot stress enough how much I want you to be a subby. And if you are not a subscriber, please tap the subscribe button and follow me on Instagram. Bye.